Hello, YouTube. This is episode whatever the number is of this here Compound Fracture YouTube series. Uh, you know the rest of the details, I think, by this point. I don't have to say them every episode, do I? What do you want from me, man? Let's get moving. No time like the present to get ripped apart. Got a burning zombie that's aiming straight for my heart. He'll suck me dry. He'll suck me dry. Okay. Drink some water. Might as well. Drop some something. Three water bottles. First aid kit. Bottle. Sure. Seems good. Amigos. Get in the rear view mirror, amigos. No one likes you. So we're going the wrong way. That's easy to fix. Okay. The open road, just how we like it. Well, for a minute anyway. Okay, so here's the here's the town. I'm actually kind of happy that we're going through here in, in daylight, even though it's going to mean we can't really raid those gun shops, but we can at least do a perimeter check and see what's in here completely. That's an abandoned shopping plaza. Interesting. Antique store. Ooh. I mean, we don't really care about antique stores nearly as much as we did a while ago. They have relics, and that's nice, but... Uh, we don't need melee weapons. There's a farm down there. I'm not going to bother with the farm, I don't think. Oh. Not get close to that electric zombie. No point getting shocked. Another evac shelter. Probably worth checking for kits quickly. On our way past, there's an anthill somewhere around here. Corrosive anthill, I guess. I think that's what that is. Oh no, it's an acid zombie. Okay. Let's not crash into the frickin' building. We're fine. Grab some more water. Grab some more batteries. Or one battery. Two first aid kits. Two more first aid kits. Okay, we got lots of medical supplies. Engine started up first time that time. That's good. Oh, and there's another shelter up there. Let's just mark this as explored. We'll mark both of them as explored while we're on the screen. Batteries, more water. Water. One first aid kit in this one. I am I, I haven't really looked much for mutagen stuff. Um at some point we could go back into the lab we started in and find uh chemicals. We have plenty of books though. I'm sure we have the right books. Okay, we might have to go through these city streets a bit. Oops, what did I hit? Underbrush. Okay, well whatever. 
Oh no, we're fine. This isn't a big forest. It looked like it might have been, but it's just one one isolated little patch of forest. Oh, what are you? Bandits and thugs. Let's make a note of that. Bandits and thugs. Okay. They're getting angry. We're long gone, though. Could always go tearing in there with one of our guns. Take them all out, but whatever. Do you think we should kill those? I don't know. I'm concerned that one of them might have, like, some, some gun that can fire back at us, and we don't really want to deal with that. So let's go to the radio tower, get an idea of uh, the landscape around here. I don't think it's really worth taking on the thugs. Like, they don't have much loot or anything, do they? Maybe they do. I don't know. All right, there's the whole town. We do have a road through the forest up here. That'll get us home. Oh, no, wait. This is home. Home's, like, right here. Oh, yeah. Look at us. We're home. There's a garage down there if we ever need a, another garage for some reason. They could have CBMs in them, really? We don't have a scalpel. Should we wait until we have a scalpel? We do have, like, really high first aid, though, or, so that would probably help us to carve them up. Might be worth going for CBMs. There are, like, um, five of them. You know what? Let's Let's have some fun. Let's do it. Let's let's see what's what's up about the bandits and thugs. I mean, we're almost home. We can almost certainly get home. Yeah, scalpel isn't required, but it does help, definitely. It's um it seems like if we're really 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 worried about the the uh, CBMs, it's often just worth waiting until you have the right tools but uh whatever it's fine all right we'll wield our scat or wield our scabbard oh no, no that's exactly what we wanted okay come on See, that's another thing. We have no armor at all on our arms right now, which is a bit of an issue. Ooh, acid. Have a have a nice little trip later. Oh, our scabbard's almost completely destroyed. That's a concern, actually. We'll just have to be really careful. Like, if our scabbard's destroyed, um, we have to make sure we don't drop our rapier and leave it behind. Bone plate wolf? I don't like the sound of that very much. And that pulpating crawler is the thing that the scary, like, raptor things jumped out of before. That killed, uh, killed me one previous run. So this is, uh, this is where the bandits and thugs are. Wield our gun. Looks like they're taking out zombies for us. That's nice. Where are you, bandits and thugs? There you are. Okay. This guy does seem to have... He has a shotgun. He has a Remington. Fortunately, the Remington does not have much range, so we should be fine. 
There's two of them in here. Ooh. You have sharpened rebar. Okay, whatever. That's not a that's not a worry at all. So we'll kill the one with the shotgun. That didn't work. We'll back off. Let's run a bit. Get some a bit of distance. What? Oh. Didn't press P. Huh. <laughs> The, the one with the rebar is, like, playing blocker for this shotgun-wielding friend. That's unfortunate. There we go. Okay. We'll run a bit more. Zombies are playing blocker for us. Let's just shoot this nearby one, make sure he's dead. Okay. I'm going to slow to a, a walk. Let the zombies weaken him a bit. He will keep pace with us, but we're okay with that. This really isn't ideal, is it? Okay. Die. Good hit. Not a great hit. Dead. Okay, now we'll wield our, our rapier again. Where are the sig? Just kill these zombies quickly. Wait a minute. Why do we have 320 moves per move? Doesn't make any sense. Why why is our why are we this slow? Like what what? I mean we have a lot of debuffs there, but still. What the hell? I don't understand why this is happening like this. Like why why are we so slow all of a sudden? What the my character is quite drained, you're right. What kind of weapon does this guy have? He has a Glock. He's un he's unaware of me. That's really, really lucky. Okay, so um we are a little bit concerned right now. Uh we do have a Riv Tech gun if we need it, but I don't think we do. I think we should just deal with these zombies as quickly as and as easily as possible here and then get back to our vehicle. Okay. Uh, I don't think we really need to squish them. And I think we'll come back to loot these guys, like, maybe. Well, let's, okay, let's just store the rapier. Walk north a bit. Oh, the thug's going back to his base. Okay, that's good. So we'll use the antiseptic that we surely have on us. No, we don't. It's in the car. Well, whatever. Might as well pulp these guys now that there's no one around. We're fine. Tramadol? Sure. Don't mind if I do. We're fine. Okay, antiseptic. Can't pick up liquids. Eat antiseptic. Head. Okay. Now, I mean, we have killed two of those guys already, so, like, what... I mean, our speed is going up again. Like, it's 73 now. I think if we, like, take some painkillers, we'll be fine to go back in for a minute. We have, like, lots of weapons. Oops. What kind of painkiller do we have here? We do have codeine. Take three codeines. Maybe eat something. Pretzels and milk balls and something. Mashed pumpkin. Old cheese. Mmm. Okay, so, I mean, we're fine. We can do this. Cut in time, you think? Cut and run? Are we a runner or are we a fighter? I guess sometimes you have to be a runner today to be a fighter tomorrow. We are very, very dumb, though, so... We might just roll with the dumb for a while.
I am really curious about this. Uh, oh, look at this guy. He's bleeding, this thug. He has a quarter staff. He's aware of my presence. Oh, and there's another thug with a sharpened rebar who's aware of my presence, too. Okay. Do, do we have enough range to get to them? No, not quite. Almost. Now we do. Just wait until he gets a bit closer. All he has is rebar, so whatever. Come on, come get me. Come get me. Come get me until my precise aim's better, please. He must have good armor on. There we go. No problem. Who's next? You? Oh. Oh, yeah, he has a Glock. Okay, well, whatever. Yeah, and that's not super concerning. Start firing now, I guess. Missed. 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 Damn it. Really? Got him. Got him. Got him. One more. Two more. What's with all this, like, health he has? There we go. Jeez. Is that everyone? I think that's all of them, right? There were five? Did we get five? I think we got them all. Oh, we'll be stealing all this stuff. Hey, Kevlar Vest. Okay, you know what? This was totally worth it. We can get, like, Kevlar Vests and Glocks and... Yeah, I mean, totally worth it. Take the uh, clip out of the Glock. We don't actually need the Glock itself. Take the vest. Motorcycle boots, I guess. Wait. Our Nomad gear is a bit dented, but it's still good. Should be able to... We'll wear the Molly pack. That'll help us. Yeah. Take that and... Uh... Sure. <laughs> Be considered stealing. Stealing from the dead isn't really stealing. Dead people don't need items. Nothing too useful here. We already have a gas mask. Oh, cutting as in cutting them up to CBMs. Yeah, totally. We'll grab the corpses in just a sec here. These are all zombies. Okay. Let's just carry the corpses back to our car for now. Like, we might as well. Oh, you know what? I'm going to drop him and get some stamina back before this uh, sproglodyte gets to me. I don't know. We're fine. Let's just drag. Oops. What are you? Swimmer zombie? Whatever. Yield the rapier. Come die. Oh, come on. Headlamp dented. Wow, we're in such terrible condition. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Oh, okay, you know what? Corpse. 
corpse. There's a Z9 in the neighborhood. Be careful. There are zombies coming for us. There's unimaginable pain. Like, I mean, I don't know. This is like, this feels kind of dumb that we're sitting here fighting these things when we're this exhausted. I guess we'll shoot them. We only have five bullets left. We have another clip, but geez. <laughs> what? I don't know what to do now. I feel like this shouldn't be quite so hard. Like, seriously guys, this is this is too much. Like how big are these corpses? Can we like get them home? Probably not, eh? Like, I don't... I don't want to keep taking these hits like we have been. Okay. So, um, they're 187 each. Okay, I got a plan. I got a plan. We're going to, uh, put all of this trunk stuff in the one, the one spot here. Like so. Oh, that didn't work at all, did it? Oh, I see. We, yeah, okay, we moved, ah, that makes sense. Yeah. We put everything, we don't have quite enough room for it all, but almost all of it. This will be fine, this will work. Then what we're gonna do is, is, is carry three of these corpses home and then leave the rest here for now. Okay, we have three corpses in our trunk, and there's two more behind, and they're just going to stay behind, and we'll come back and loot the rest of the stuff later. Done. We'll just go back to the base, and once we get back there, we'll do our healing and patch ourselves up. Might have taken a couple unnecessary risks, but, I mean... There were times there that we were too slow and too surrounded to escape. So if something huge had like come across us at just the wrong time, we would have been in trouble. So it's better not to take that type of risk. It's a bit of a mistake. Not a big mistake though. It's unlikely that we'd have like some sort of crazy beast come up on us. Home sweet prison. Okay, use the antiseptic. Okay. Drop everything on the ground. Destination area is full. Boo. Oh, 
All right, kill the zombie. Yeah, all things considered, we did do pretty well in that run. We got some good stuff. We got our uh, welding stuff together, which was the, the main priority. And uh, But we did way more than just that. Should turn the reading light off. Apparently it's been on all day. That's fine. Not too concerned about it. Let's eat some stuff. That's good. Okay, turn the reading light back on, and we'll immediately start butchering these corpses, dissecting them rather. Well, we'll, we'll eat something first, and then we'll do protein ration, sure. Yeah, whatever. Human. Dissect. Would I dare desecrate the mortal remains of a fellow human being? Oh, game, you don't know me. Of course I would. We're healing pretty fast, even without medical, medical treatment here. Oh, reading light's gone. Oh, we did it. Uh, we dissected the thug, and we did not get any CBMs out of him at all. None. Boo. Okay. What should the other human? Maybe shouldn't have done this on our pile of stuff. Oh, well. We're now famished and thirsty. Dissected that corpse. No CBMs again. I'm starting to doubt whether this whole dissecting thugs is... All it's cracked up to be. At least we have tons of stuff to eat. I'm not in the mood. Not in the mood, game. Come on. Since when do I have to be in the mood to do something horrible and fell? Ugh. Memories of butchering a human corpse? Come on. Game. Okay, well, um, our focus is, is 16. Let's read a happy book. Put on a happy book. Humans need to be dissected. So put on a happy book. Sometimes you got to just read about chemistry. Okay. Zombie spotted. Shit. I was a little bit worried about that. I was hoping we could get them dissected in time. Guess not. Come on outside, zombie. I don't want, like, that much butt blood and guts in here. Just get you over the top of some of these items. That... Really? We're still that slow? How is our run speed 790? What's going on? I don't understand how we're that slow. Like, I, I just don't... I don't understand this. <sighs> wow. Just... Just... Da. It's worth a try. It's worth a try. It's, we've tried, we've tried, we've failed. Oh, well. 
Now let's see if we can get rid of these uh these guts and awful things. Raw brains, raw sweet bread. Raw piece of raw lung. That's it. Sure. Dump that. Whatever. We tried. It's worth a shot. I guess we were never going to be able to dissect all four, all five of them, like, no matter what we did. Did we really lose our... We, we did. We lost our... Um, our scabbard, we have to build a new one now. We can't just repair it. That's frustrating. Yeah, we lost our scabbard. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Well, let's cook something. Let's give ourselves a real nice meal. Recover from this. We still have, like, terrible selection of stuff to cook here. Well, I guess we'll just eat some potato chips and tortilla chips and some canned ravioli. Mmm. There's nothing wrong with canned ravioli, people. It's a real meal. Drop our Nomad gear in the hopes that we're not over overheated. We aren't anymore. Well, I guess it had our reading light in it, didn't it? How do we pick up the reading light without having to, like, unload the whole thing? Reading light? Oh, no. Well, you know what? Whatever. Screw you. We'll pick up the... We'll wear the frickin' uh, Nomad gear, I guess. Drop some of the stuff we don't need. And, um, make a new scabbard, I guess. We do need to still get the leather working proficiency, and it's going to be 19 frickin' hours to make one because we don't have leather working, but, you know, that's the thing about these proficiencies. We're going to have to do them at some point anyway. Our focus, though, is 16, so, like, that's just not a good idea right now. Let's go back to reading applied science and get our focus up. Maybe listen to music while we're doing it. Meru the Tempest, just lurking around, have a question. You started in a new run and don't know what your goal should be. You have food, water, and a base. Now what? Okay, so um, the first now what is books. Uh, good places to get books include, um, schools are amazing because, uh, if you can climb up the staircase, there don't tend to be too many enemies in the upper floors. And, uh, schools always have a library on top, which has, um, usually not very many advanced books, but it has basic books, which is your, your early game priority. Uh, libraries are the best of the best. If you find a library on the outskirts of town, do a night raid and grab books there. Bookstores are okay. Uh, labs have libraries that are okay but they have mostly high-level books, not so many low-level ones. Um, so when you have the food, you want to just spend a bunch of time reading, getting your skills up, and from there you decide on priorities. So you're going to be thinking about building armor, uh, for which you need tailoring and fabrication. Uh, you're going to want to think about getting your forging gear up so you can get melee weapons, um, and that's fabrication. Uh, you're going to think about building maybe a mobile base. Maybe you want to stay somewhere. Maybe you want to be mobile. I don't know, whatever. Uh, either way, you probably want some sort of like battle vehicle. So you need mechanics for that. So it's just a matter of really like picking skills one after another and getting them up and uh, being self-sufficient. That's, that's usually what's next. And then once you get to the point where you have your stuff together, you're like kind of kitted out like we are here, or we're sort of on the edge of it here. Um, then you start finding fun stuff to raid, like labs. Uh, labs are amazing. They're, they're just the best thing. And um, other fun things. 
uh, gun stores for for weapons. It's good to have at least uh, one good rifle that you have lots of ammo for, so you can take down armies of undead. Um, yeah, really, it's it's the the game is your oyster at that point, and and it's funny that the game's an oyster because it's also a game, and usually things that are oysters are not games, but there's exceptions. Yeah, no worries. Welcome to the game. I mean, it's it's a great, great, great game. It can be kind of overwhelming at first, and uh, yeah, questions are wonderful. Okay, um, why can't we see anything? Because we still have light amp goggles on. That makes sense. I'll take those off. Okay, famished. Uh, activate our reading light. And try cooking. How's our our? Uh... Oh God, we still have like negative sixty three morale from that human corpse. That was terrible. Ugh. Dirty, dirty job. Okay, read some more chemistry for kids. Yeah. Famished again. Let's look for cooking this time. Oh, we should render this fat into tallow for sure. Let's do that. We'll use a mess kit, I guess. And let's just eat the like the raw tallow because we we need these calories really bad. So I'll eat like four of those. We hate it, but we need to put some meat back on our bones. We're underweight, and uh, we've been having problems with like um, underfed penalties, so. That's not good. Keep reading simple books. Actually, let's, let's, um, well, we'll get up to level three and then we'll switch over to mechanics. Our focus is up to 40 now, which is not, I mean, it's still terrible, frankly, but, uh, it's a little bit better than it was. We're almost at the end. Yeah, we're done. Okay, so eat some more stuff, eat some more tallow, I guess. We hate it. Our mood is, oh no, minus not, uh, 62 total morale. Ugh. Not fun. Not fun at all. Whatever. We're getting up to weight. We're doing what we gotta do. It's fine. Uh, now, we want mechanics. Yes. That's going to be the real next step is is going down and um yeah, twisted officer. We'll sleep away that the we'll sleep soon. Um we'll be fine. It just means we're reading a bit slowly today, but whatever. We need to do this reading anyway. We need to get our mechanic skill up so that we can get a, get a good vehicle going. That's one of our one of our best uh best plans moving forward. So make some cornbread. three player turned off our focus is recovering though so that's nice yeah that's a good point we could go to the uh, silos and get a bunch of grain and make a bunch of bread that's a thing to do I don't know if I've ever really done the milling milling of grain thing. That's uh Do you need like recipes for it or something? Like if we go to uh bread here, is, is there a a flour recipe? Let's just search for flour. Okay, so a clay quern or a stone quern, we can get that easily enough, I'm sure. Or a food processor, which I think we probably have, or a mortar. Okay. Um, do we have a food processor? First first things first. Let's just check to see if we're already set. Food. No. But we can build one. We have tons of engineering. Processor. Oh, yeah. We just need to load up our soldering iron and find a micromotor. So I bet you something here has a micromotor that we don't need. Or we could build a micromotor. Micromotor, where are 
are you? Doesn't look like we have anything with a micromotor, so what will it take to build one? Oh yeah, almost nothing. So just reload our soldering iron. Tons of batteries at this point, so that's that's wonderful. Micromotor. Food processor. Cool. Now we'll eat some stuff again. Maybe just some more of that tallow, eh? Just, just feed it to me. Pump the fat into my fat. And, uh, still a bit hungry. Um, potato chips. Raw jam, cookie, toast them. Looks good. We don't have a scabbard, which really, really sucks, actually. But, um, and so that means we can't actually wield our rapier if we go out, because we're going to have to carry our pickaxe. Wait, where's the pickaxe? We have a pickaxe, axe, right? Yes, we do. Only three volume, that's interesting, but 35 inches, so yeah. Okay, so I think that's this direction. Pick. Yeah. Okay. So we're leaving home without a rapier, which is really unfortunate. Um, might have grabbed the combat knife. I said, actually, let's do that. Let's grab the combat knife. We don't want to be, don't want to be super dumb. Just regular dumb. Regular dumb's good. Go to brawling. Okay. Yeah, apocalyptic cooking with compound fracture. That's that's what we're all about. We are now, like, we've been a gameplay channel up until this point, but I'm switching genres. Those cooking channels are raking in the dough over on YouTube, so I'm just going to be a cooking stream from now on. It'll be wonderful. So there were silos right up here, eh? I think. Well, maybe not. It's just a farmhouse. There's a silo down here, though, so let's go down there. What's in the dump? A steel drum. That could be useful. Not worth grabbing right now, though. I guess he can dig in the dump, find some good stuff. Short hair cat. It's a survivor. Mass of zombie spiders. What? Not just one zombie spider, like a mass of them? That's terrifying. Jeez. Ugh. Okay. Now, are there doors to this? No, you're just going through the side, I guess, eh? The mass isn't that bad? Okay, that's good.
This is going to take some effort. A woodland right. Um, let's stop for a second and see where it is and see if it sees us. It does see us. It's down there. I guess it probably can't get through the uh, fence, though, right? Like, oh, no, it's right here. Dogs generally, like, animals, even if they're zombies, generally can't get through fences. So I'm going to, like, test that theory. Though we could just shoot it through the fence. That would be the safe way to deal with it. We do have a silenced gun, though. That'll require... It will bring some zombies in, but we are making noise already. So probably shouldn't worry too much about noise. Worry more about dying. Oh, now there's five of them. Yeah, okay. Um, you, you're, you guys are going to be shot now. Good luck surviving. Oh, out of ammo. Reload. What? Oh, yeah. The mass should be burned. Okay, I was thinking of it as like a single enemy that's like a mass of, of, of like twisted together flesh and grossness, but I guess not. Okay, now I'll wield the pickaxe. We'll finish, we'll finish what, are, what we're doing now first, and then we'll, we'll go deal with that in a minute. Okay, so dig through rock. SWAT zombie. Yeah, I'll stop and deal with you too. Okay. You know, we're really low on this 223 ammo. Like, we're going to need to um, go into a town to, to, to start looking at gun stores. Oh, here's 223 ammo. Speak of the devil. That's perfect. It's very, very helpful. 17 rounds will go a long way. We'll just put them in there. Okay. Very happy to see that. Yeah, okay, it's a moving clump of thousands of spiders. That's what I thought. What? I thought there was supposed to be, like, tons of grain in these things. Seriously? Was I imagining things? Is that not how it works? Should we try the other one? Maybe it's only the uh, silos that have doors. I don't know. We are very hot. That's not the best. So let's just drop the Nomad gear temporarily. We're still warm. Maybe we should put on our climate control. Yeah, let's do that. That's a little annoying. We'll drain our power, but that's what we got it for, right? Thermal dissipation. Would, would I recommend bows, or are they not worth the time? Um, I mean, it depends, right? Like, kind of everything in the game is situational. Um, yeah, shit. So the thing I would say about bows, this is really annoying that we didn't get anything out of this. Um, I think I'd say about bows is that they um, can be really good early game weapons just for sort of thinning the horde around your base or whatever, or like opening a little area, training up your marksmanship skill. Um, where their advantage is, of, is of course that they don't have... Um, you don't have to worry as much about ammo because you can just craft more more arrows, and if you get like a like a like a, some rollerblades or something, you can uh, just skate around town kiting things with your bow. Um, but yeah, what Twisted Officer says is right. They scale off of strength, um, and you typically won't have very much strength. Like strength is something that's very like all the base stat stats are very very hard to get unless you use like stats through skills, which is a Kind of a cheaty mod, I think. And, um, bees? Damn it. A C4 hack? Interesting. There's bees and a C4 hack. Right, so like bows. Um, I think the short answer is that they aren't great. Um, there is a great bow, which is amazing, supposedly. I've never used it, but it requires like superhuman mutant strength to even attempt to wield it. Yeah, at 8 strength, you don't really want to th be thinking about archery as a plan. Sometimes I do go archery, like, in the early game, just because I happen to find a, um... Actually, I should 
before I leave here, I should totally go up there and just get a get a lay of the land. Uh, because I happen to find Bowyer's buddy and Fletcher's friend. Um, that's the only time you want to consider archery is if you have those two books. Um, obviously one is for bows and the other one's for for arrows. Um, so yeah, it's kind of dependent on having those two items. So I'm thinking that that little silo over there is probably the one that'll be full of grain. Um, I wish we'd brought in some brought some food with us, but since we've come all this way, like I don't want to leave empty-handed. I am gonna try this other silo, see if it's the right one. Yeah, thank you for checking out the stream, Maru. I always appreciate you around here, and questions are always, always welcome. It's a complicated game, and it's it's not as easy to find help as a lot of games, just because it's always changing so rapidly. So even if you find stuff online, it's probably out of date. What's that? Nothing. Nothing useful. Ooh, is that like a little... That's cool. Got like one of those little excavator thingies. What does it have in it? Oh. Slaver and coyotes. Huh. That's a little bit scary. Okay, you know what? Let's just be smart. You can't go through my windshield, Slaver and Coyote. I know, I know animals don't go through windshields very well. Too heavy for its engines? What? Surrounded by coyotes, don't have my rapier, and suddenly my car is too heavy for its engines. You have gas, right? Yeah, you have tons of gas. Oh, dear. Okay. Okay. It's fine. We got this. We should have fixed the engine before we left it again. Ah, now we have to, like, walk home and... Well, that's that's just not good. That's, that's really, really not good. We'll walk home. We'll come... We'll read some, like, books about about, like, cars and stuff and come back and fix the engine here, I guess. Meanwhile, we have to figure out the best way to fight our way out of here. So, um, we'll unload the molly pack that we forgot to take off earlier. Um, because it has a, the knife in it. No. We'll... Yeah, I've totally survived worse, you're right. I mean, we could, um, like, like the, the reason I don't like this situation, honestly, it's less about the survivability. It's more that, like, I kind of think I might want to use more bullets, and I don't want to use more bullets. Like, that's not what we're aiming at here. We don't have very many bullets. That's so frustrating. Okay. So you guys are just going to, like, surround the vehicle and not let me escape. Okay, so, um, do we want to use our gun or try to, I mean, we're not going to try to hunting knife it. That would be silly. So, yeah. Sig, I guess. Store an inventory. Um, you guys come around, like, one side so I can get out, maybe? Like, maybe? There you go. Okay. So we'll hit run. No! <sighs> oh, hey! They ran away. They bravely turned their backs and fled. I wasn't expecting them to run away when I just shoot one like that. That's cool. I thought they were like zombie coyotes. I guess they're not zombie coyotes at all. What are you guys going to do? Are you going to keep running or are you going to go... Oh, that's a pit bull mix. Okay.
Okay. We're going back in the car now. Are you guys going to fight each other? Now you're mad at me again? Okay, sure. Whatever. You're not so tough. Apparently they don't know what's good for him because I just made him explode. And I do it again, damn it. Ah, come on. Oh, you're fleeing now. Oh, whatever. You're dead. Don't trust you. Fortunately, we have this little excavator thing here, and it's probably running. No wheels. Okay, never mind. Hmm. Okay. Um, well, let's go ahead and harvest the grain, shall we? <laughs> oh, back to the plan. And then we'll walk home, and then we'll walk back, and home's not very far away, at least. Oh, and these, these aren't even the uh, other type of silo that I was hoping to find here. Oh, boy. We have a floodlight. Like, there's some good stuff in here. I'll take the floodlight. I'll take um, something. I don't know. Crane, I guess, but we have a folding engine crane. Are you sure you're not going to work? Just, just... Oh! What? It worked. Okay, 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 okay. No worries. We have found our satisfaction. Maybe it was just too heavy because all the coyotes were, like, piled on the bumper. That's probably it, eh? That was probably counting those coyotes as part of the weight. But that does tell me, like, there's no time like the present to fix this bloody engine. That's for sure. So we completely failed to get grain. That's that's okay. We'll know next time that those um, two towers side-by-side -side things aren't the right place. There's There are silos that are just one tower that have a metal door. And I think that must be the one. We're learning. Learning is important. Learning is yearning, after all, and yearning is, is how you start to get stuff. You just got to yearn badly enough. And then the world will come to you. They'll say, hey, this man needs things, and I'm the type of world to just give it to him because the world is nothing if not fair and balanced and reasonable to all people. Yes. It's my story, and I'm sticking with it. Okay. That was a good failure of a mission, but, you know, at least we're happy and healthy and really only lost a few rounds of ammunition. And things could be way worse than that, so. Good-ish. Now let's read about mechanics. With our 21 focus. Okay. So that one's plus uh plus one happiness. The other one is plus zero, so we'll read this one. I guess we are extremely hungry, so we should probably take care of that. Pickled veggie and sauerkraut are old, so we'll eat those right away. We could go hard on the mayonnaise again. Somehow, I think that 
Okay, well, whatever. We'll save the pineapple for later. So we're tired now. I think we're going to do that thing where we keep reading for a little while and then eat a whole bunch of mayonnaise and then go to bed. Can't go wrong with mayonnaise. Okay, that's level four mechanics. That's enough to fix our, our car if we want to. So clean water. Drink a couple of those. Mayonnaise. Mmm. Mmm, mayonnaise. Who knew it could be so delicious? So delicious we have to sleep off the terrible memories of eating mayonnaise. Still, we're anguished by butchering a human corpse way more than we're disliking the mayonnaise. So, that's something. All right, and we are sound asleep with a belly full of mayonnaise again. And it's a good, very, very good spot to call this episode of YouTube Complete, of uh, Cataclysm that is on YouTube Complete. Yes. Good night, everyone.